Did you ever think when you were starting out mm -hmm. 33 years ago mm -hmm. that you'd be where you are today? No, not on any day. I was, um, you know, you grow up with a Canadian mindset. The Canadian mindset is uh, if I could just get enough to have what I need, I'm good. But as I started doing it, I was like, wait, there's possibility to do more than what I'm doing or get more than I'm getting. And I started focusing on that more. And I was like, you know what? I really want to take this to another level. I don't just want to blend in. I want to stand out. And uh, that's what I uh, focused on doing. I, I still do that to, my, to this day. What's your material now? What's your focus on? Now I'm dealing with more with, uh, with where I'm at in life. You know, I'm a 52 year old man. Four years ago I had one child, now I have four. You know, I want two I made and two my wife made, you know. So I'm dealing with a, a different range of kids, 30, 28, 12, and three and a half. You know, so I've got this whole, this is a different world I'm dealing with now. And I'm, and I'm you know, I'm, I, I'm focused on being concerned about the future uh, and, and, and the sensitivities. And I'm, you know, the, we complain about the sensitivities of, of the young people nowadays. But, uh, you know, when you become introspective, you start to realize that their sensitivities are because of our generation. My generation caused that. that. Okay, My so generation created political correctness. Right. So, so this was our little, our, our little attempt and then it blew up in our face. I put clips out on my Instagram. And a lot of times I don't put the clips out because I'm like, I don't want to hear from people that don't, know, that don't understand what I'm doing. You know, I, want these, I don't want these knuckleheads to get on there and be like, oh, you know, that's not, you know. So you got these, these young people that are trying to be these social warriors and you're like, get the f out of my face with your bull. Okay, is there a point where you can cross the line into being offensive as opposed to making fun of someone who gets it and doesn't mind the fact that you're, you're poking fun at them? Um, listen, I have this line in my act. I say, just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. There's plenty of things that offend me on a daily basis, but it doesn't mean I'm right, and it doesn't mean that it's somebody else's problem. If something bothers you, that becomes your problem. It shouldn't become the world's problem, and it shouldn't become the, like, it, it, it's for you to deal with. And the, the problem is we have an, a new generation of kids that have no coping mechanisms. They don't know how to cope with any adversity. But then didn't Chris Rock say he doesn't like going to university campuses anymore? None of us do. Yeah. No comic will do it anymore. Because we don't, we don't, we're not going to play by their rules. You're, you're ruining free speech. That's why when they're trying to cancel the past, you can't cancel the past. You can't erase history. All you can do is learn from it. Because if you cancel it and you erase it, it's going to repeat itself. Well, Archie Bunker really pushed the envelope, right? He, yeah, he, but they... we all knew. Nobody was like, this is terrible. We all knew people like that. The problem is people, people hate mirrors. Nobody wants to look at themselves. You look at yourself and go, what the fuck is that? And people hate to be reminded that that's who they are. So the whole idea of cancel culture, that hasn't affected anything you're doing. The people that want to, would, would be interested in canceling me were never going to buy a ticket to see me. So, and the people that do buy tickets to come and see me want to hear what I do. Now, if I'm going to bow down to these invisible people of cancel culture, I'm going to lose my base and I'm not going to gain them. So what is the, what's the end game here? Who am I playing this guy? I mean, I got to, I got to service the people that want to hear what I have to say. You know, I know what I can and cannot say. Oh, you and do? I, and I don't say the things that I like to toe the line. Okay. I like to make you think I'm going to do, go there and I go, just go there and I turn right around. Just, you know, it's like uh, throwing fake punches at somebody. You're not going to hit them. So you've got a, 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 a little person inside your head who censors you to something. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, I'm not devious in my mind. You know, I'm not trying to... My goal is to make you laugh. My goal is to make you squirm a little. Yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, no, he didn't. Whew, thank goodness. And I'm like, or did I? You know, that's really... I want to leave it up to that, you know. Are you friends with Dave Chappelle? I am. I've, been, I've known Dave for 27 years. Okay. And you saw his shtick on SNL. Yeah, it was fantastic. Okay, interesting you should say that because a whole group out there say he's legitimized, he's made anti-Semitism legitimate. What do you say to that? I mean, I sent him a text after it happened. I said, Dave, on behalf of all the comics, we all quit. You nailed it. Because? Because he articulated exactly what People are afraid to say. And why should we be afraid to say something that, I mean, listen, uh, like to say the Jews run Hollywood isn't a bad thing. It's not like they run it and they're, and they're it up. I mean, I wouldn't want anybody else to run it. 
clearly they're doing a fantastic job. Why would I take this away from them? I want, I get mad if I look at my team, my, my, at my agency and I go, why do I not have enough Jewish guys or women on this team? Why, why? I need more. If I had more, I'd probably be doing better right now. Okay, and then his comments on the trans community and, and Ricky Gervais' comments as well. Do you think they crossed the line? No. no. What did he say that was so bad, Dave? Well, you tell me. Why do you think there's such a fuss over what he because said? Because uh, we, we, got, we got a minority here with way too much power, wielding a lot of power, and, and not afraid to use it. And just because you try to shut somebody up doesn't mean what they're saying isn't valid. People really got to get out of the, their head out of their ass. And it, it's one of those things where it's like, listen, funny is funny. If you're fucking soft, don't look at it. If it's, I, I, listen, I don't like horror movies. I don't watch them. Yeah. It's pretty simple. It's really a basic thought process. It's as simple as that. Horror movies don't scare me. They bother me. You know what I do? I don't watch them. But do you think that we're living in an environment now where people aren't able to laugh at themselves as much as they used to? Well, then that's not my problem. That, that, then we're looking very, at a very bleak future. The, the more serious people get, the, the worse the future looks. I'm all about what's funny. You know, in comics, we have a dark sense of humor. Yeah. It doesn't matter, like, as soon as a bad thing happens, we immediately have jokes written about it. We'll never do them in public, but we'll text each other. If you were ever in a comedian's chat room, you'd be like, wow, this is dark, and this, now that's cancelable. Yeah. Like, we're all like, man, if anybody ever saw what we say to each other, we would be done. <laughs>